I was working with Bevins. It was real cool, man. It was real cool. You know, uh, when we first met him, we was out in California. Uh, we was doing a demo actually with Rob Fresman in New Edition. And uh, we saw Mike and he had a situation going on with Motown where, you know, he was getting his own BFT imprint or whatever. And uh, he took a liking to us and uh, the rest is history. He signed us and sent us back home. And before we knew it, we was in the studio with Dallas recording uh, Aisha and Playground. Nice. Now, working with Motown, did you get to meet any of the legendary acts, like maybe any Temptations, for example? Yeah, yeah. We got to meet a lot of the Temptations at a, uh, it was some Motown event. Everybody was there. I remember what stood out to me the most, we met, uh, we was backstage, and we was talking to Stevie Wonder, and he started singing Aisha. Wow. Oh, no. And he was like, man, <laughs> yeah, he started singing Aisha, and he was like, man, I love that song. My daughter's name is Aisha. And he said, oh, isn't she lovely? I say her name on the song. And what, that that tripped me out. Oh, my like, goodness. Dang, Stevie Wonder, know our song, Stevie Wonder. If anybody yeah. didn't think you officially made it with platinum status, Stevie Wonder, hello, was singing your song. It doesn't get bigger than right. that. Right, right, <laughs> yeah. Did any Motown legends give you guys any type of advice? You know what? Yeah, they did. We uh actually got to meet the Jackson family. Okay. And uh we went out to eat and it was uh their mother Catherine Jackson, Jermaine Jackson, I think Randy Jackson. It was a bunch of them, you know, it's a lot okay. of them anyway. But we all went out to dinner and and they was just talking to us like, man, you know, y'all gotta, you know, stay grounded, man, stick together, always stick together, don't let nobody come between just Stuff like that, and coming from them, man, it was mind boggling to me because it's like these is the Jacksons, and they just absolutely talking. They got to eat with their family like normal people. Mm -hmm. Like it was, it was weird. Mm -hmm. Then we went to their house, their family house, man, and we was walking around. They had like real giraffes and zebras in the yard. Really? Yeah. So this yeah. is this is Michael Jackson's family, the house he grew up in, correct? Yeah. So I understand. They had a giraffe and a zebra in the backyard. In the backyard. Nice. Did you get a chance to feed the giraffe some lettuce or anything? Or Nah. <laughs> nah, That's it awesome. was just crazy to see, you know, because they would always say, like, we would always hear rumors about Michael Jackson. Like, he got all kind of animals, and we were like, he can't have no mm. animals like that. But they had a giraffe and a zebra in the backyard. Crazy. Yeah. So you knew, even though you were so young, you didn't, you still knew the opportunity you had in you know, the people you're surrounded by. Yeah, yeah. And now I think, I don't really think we understood it being so young, but now looking mm -hmm. back, it's like, wow, man, that's that was a dope experience. I bet, yeah.